In today's episode, we fit these into our Project Rally car. Oh, so Fred Jr., what have you got here? Well, I've had another endeavour on the old Facebook marketplace. You can oh. find anything there. You can find Mandalorians, Baby Yodas. Oh. I've managed to find a set of Coney coilovers. Oh, Coney, they're a bit good for us, aren't they? That's right. And they even say so on the side of the uh, coil over there. These look extremely exotic. Yes, well... Now, we've become a bit of a connoisseur when it comes to coilovers. We've got DGR, MCA... That's right. Yep. Very good. Well, what made you get these ones apart from the price? Well, the price was more than the car. <laughs> right. But, uh, that's all right. You've got to spend money to make money. That's right. Okay. And, um, they've got a bit of a, a rally rally spec, the old conies. And, yep. Well, as you've seen, the Mirage, is, well, it's not, doesn't sit real well. No. And it's, it's no good. So no I'm good. going to change that. You don't want that. Now, the other thing about these conies is that um, old mate that had them before us is a bloody good bloke, by the way. He's um, had them rebuilt. So these are, obviously they're second-hand conies. Um, nice bit of anodized paint and, you know, a bit of Mandalorian pink juice there. But these um, these have all been fully rebuilt. And I think the cost of the rebuild, Fred Jr., is more than what you paid for them. Sounds like a good deal to me. Happy days. Well, Village Idiot's about to turn up. Then we're going to jack up this Mirage and chuck these into it. Let's get there. Mm. Welcome back to Clooney Car Garage. Suspension, brakes and geometry here. Frankie, welcome to the channel. Jeez, uh, you've got to splash out and got some suspension for this we thing. Have, oh, mate, have a look at this, Fred Jr. So, you, you got some Max Peedings or XYZs, did you, Fred? Because this... No, neither. Oh, gee. So, I've been on Facebook Marketplace, as we've just said to the viewers. Got ourselves some Coney. Hello, Coney. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, and Stinger. Oh, mate, Stinger, he helped us out on Facebook Marketplace, so... Frank, you take us through these high quality factory items here from Mitsubishi. Well, these have lasted um, 25 years. Yeah. And um, they're a good little pogo, like uh, the ones in our. Um... <laughs> not quite as bad, but. Um, no. Not a lot of damping in them, and you can see the spring rate is um, just standard for comfort. Mm. And then you look at the um, the technology you've got in these conies, it's got a little helper spring with it. The initial um, compression goes, and then this gets. Wound tighter and tighter. There's quite a bit of technology in these oh, yeah. these conies. So for this archaic car with this paint job, oh, yes, geez, uh, that's some of your best work I can see. Oh, it is. I'm, I'm incredibly pr pleased of that paint job. As I mentioned earlier, videos, you you have a rear ender, you have a bit of an accident at the front of Jolt Games and hit a gutter. Um, come see me and Frankie. We'll sort you right out. Well, hopefully Funky can sort us out with some stickers on. I think so. It's a shame to cover it up, but I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's going to happen. And a bit of rocks and a bit of dirt, we'll be laughing. All right, Frankie, so we've done one side, so now we know what we're doing. Yeah, now well, let's uh, throw these in, and uh, it's um, not going to be a four-wheel drive anymore. Uh, I think slammed life is going to be the phrase here, Frankie. Jeez. Jeez. This is about as primitive as it gets. And uh, all we've got to do here is a 17 mil nut on the bottom of the shock and undo the bottom of the um the hub here with another 17 mil and that'll give us enough room to drop that out of the way and pull the shock out three bolts at the top or might be two on the back and uh, we'll get this bit of junk out of here all right you've got to get the tops of the shocks out you use your little 14 mil for a junior and it's those two just in there completely undone at the top there yep we are all right, so you wiggle a little bit down, oh. and out with that piece of junk. Well, unfortunately, we haven't got a lot of clearance for the uh, tyre with the low spec that uh, you want to set this car up. So time for some hating on the midsole. All right, 
So in with the most expensive shock in the worst car, but uh, Coney's going to make this thing handle a little better. In they go. Oh, thank you. All right, so we've uh, changed the travel here. Got a bit of more elongation in our spring, but I still think we're going to be a slammed life. So all those cool guys that lower their cars with airbags, we're going to be right with you. All right, so all we've got to do is remove this strut. There's uh, three bolts at the top here. They're easy enough. Undo um, these two on the hub. And um, you need to take out this little spring doobie lacquer thing out of the brake um, mount. Get that out of the way. And then just get your impact on here. And these should undo freely. Like that. Well, what do you think of that for a junior? I think that's got plenty of ride height, just don't hit any speed bumps. All right, so all that's left is just to pop this up into the uh, strut there and um, put these two bolts back in. See if you can get the bottom to it. Yep. All right, so we've got uh, two bolts here. We go onto the back of our, our knuckle in there, Frankie. Yeah, hub. Yep, onto the hub. And then obviously we've got our brake line that we've just um, got on the, onto the bracket there. And one trick for young players with these coilovers is that they're directional, left and right. So this one on the right hand side has got the brake line bracket to the front of the car. Don't mix them up. You don't want that. Otherwise, Mandalorians, Martians will come out from everywhere. Righto. Moment of truth here at Clooney Garage, lowering and suspension. Frankie. Oh dear. Oh. Does it get any more rice than that, you reckon? Oh dear. That's a bit low. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bit stiff, let's see, eh? All right, so we're going to go have a bit of a drive here and see how stiff these coilovers are. Let's go. All right, it's next day here at Clooney Garage, and we went for our little test drive, um, and it was rock hard. So we're backed off the fronts, and we're just having a bit of a look here at the rears because we don't know whether we might need to change that the springs out. Those spring rates are seriously tough and. So we're going to go into um, a suspension shop and just get that worked out. But the fronts have been adjusted to full soft. So that is good news. There's our old ones that you saw us pull out. Um, and for all you viewers out there, whilst it might be a two, 200 kilometer paint job, you'll be glad to know I'm actually going to sand it back. And we're going to have another crack. This time we're going to use a proper spray gun. Because um, as nice as it looks, I'm still not impressed with it. So we are going to have a second attempt. Take two. On that note, don't do it for Dale, do it for Rocky. Catch you later.